So we're back with a brand new game for our Rants Review Fridays. And this time we are checking out Clue, but it's Goosebumps Edition. Uh, this is, of course, due to the great work between the op, the Hasbro, Scholastic, and so on and so forth. So let's open this up. We're going to talk about why this game is so much different than other Clue games. Because it is different. Uh, on top of the fact that being themed around Goosebumps, it is at Horrorland, one of their most iconic and well-known locations. I mean, several of the books have gone to Horrorland. And it features Slappy and several other monsters from the Goosebumps lineup. So the whole thing is Slappy's on the loose. And he is working together with monsters, uh, specifically like werewolves, demons, uh, vampires. We got a little punch card specifically for them. And then you've got the kids you'll be playing as. You got little tokens for them there. And there are traps. So we'll look at those in a second. So to give you an idea of the monsters, uh, vampire, we've got a werewolf, we've got a ticket taker, we've got a pirate horror, clown horror, and of course, Byron. And so those are all available in these tokens here. Then for the traps, Got Black Widow. Coffins. Fire. Purple Slime. Spiders. Bats. And Sticky Webs. And then for locations, we have quite a few. Themed all around the, act the experiences in the game. You have the Cauldron, the Black Widow Ride, you have the Wheel of Misfortune, Ticket Booth, Coffin Cruise, Bat Barn, Alligator Pond, Doom Slide, and Guillotine Mansion. Now, the Coffin Cruise has a passage directly to the Cauldron and so forth. And then the Wheel of Misfortune goes to the Doom side and back and forth. So just like traditional games, you do have the shortcuts that goes through. And then you have the door entry points to go between where you're going. And then you also have, which is more of a modern clue prediction, a deck of cards and special abilities, as well as what you can roll on with the dice with the question mark, or you can get by landing on those spaces. Let's look a little bit more at the cards. In the cards, you have their characters' first sheets, uh, which will get, tell you their names as well as their special abilities. So we have Carl Morris. Once per game, you may move twice, roll the dice, and move again. Roll again. We got Peggy Morris. Once per game, you may randomly pick a card to look at from someone you just showed a card to. Luke Morris. Once per game, you may look at a card that a player has just shown another player. You have Lizzie Morris. Once per game, you may ask two questions at the same turn using the location you're in. And then you have Clay Morris. And once per game, you may roll, you may move twice, roll the dice, and then move again. So Carl and Clay have the same ability. Then We, of course, have the rumor cards. Those are the cards that you're going to get from and shuffle out to people, which are include the um, traps, the characters, monsters, as you say. 
and the rides. And then you have the investigation cards. Now these again are like the wild ones. They're gonna give you special abilities, uh, like take an extra turn, add a six to a dice roll, move anywhere, take a sneak peek uh, at a card being shown to another player, make someone reveal a card, avoid answering a question, get a bonus question, we missed out a player card. It was in the middle of it. This is Fang. Fang Morris is the dog. Once per game, you may really pick a card to look at from someone you just showed a card to. And then we have Slappy's Revenge. Now, Slappy's Revenge is your shot clock card. So there's a bunch of them in the deck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when all eight are revealed, the game is automatically over. Slappy has succeeded. Because you are traveling through trying to find Slappy find out what monster is helping him and what traps you're going to encounter when you capture him. And if you figure it all out by basically doing your deductive reasoning and then doing your challenges in the room or out at the end of your turn, then you'll be able to win the game and catch Slappy. But if you don't catch him in time, then the game is over and everyone loses. So again, it's a pretty solid game. It is Clue, but instead of basically accusing other players, you are accusing monsters of helping Slappy, and you are specifically trying to stop him before he gets away. Really cool change to the game. I love the fact that, you know, especially like for kids and goosebumps, not basically making you know uh, your family and friends the enemies is really kind of a cool idea. And then uh, you do have the uh, special abilities, all of which is very helpful and very fun. Hopefully you guys will like this game too. Hopefully you guys pick it up and we'll see you guys next time.